Hey, this is Kevin Garlington from TotalTennisDomination.com and in this video, I want to show you one of the most underrated things you can do to improve your game. So you might be thinking what it is, well I'm going to show you in this video. Well like I said, in this video I'm going to show you one of the most underrated things you can do to improve your game. So first of all, what is it and why is it important? It's learning how to play defense. So I know we talk about offense, 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 play offense, force your opponent. But you got to also understand your opponent's trying to do the exact same thing to you. So sometime, at some point in your match, you're going to have to learn how to play defense. So what is this, why is, why is playing defense so important? Just like I said, because your opponent's going to be trying to do the same thing to you, what we want to make sure is that when your opponent does force you or put you in a bad position, we don't make a mistake. And that's what defense is about. It's about ensuring that as your opponent is forcing you off the court or running to the side, that we don't commit mistakes, giving your opponent easy opportunities to get free points because you make an unforced error or even a forced error. Okay? So when we talk specifically about defense, I think of defense as about timing. It's about giving yourself enough time to cover the rest of the court. Now, the problem is when, when let's say I'm on the run and I hit the ball really hard, I take away time because of the ball pace. So because of the uh, ball being struck really hard, it doesn't give me time to recover to where I need to. So sometimes when my opponent hits a really uh, good ball, what it's gonna do, it's gonna force me off the court where I'm gonna have to create time. You know, I'm gonna have to lift the ball up just a little bit to create more time for me to recover. Now, when I say lift, it depends on how much trouble you're in, okay? So some defense might require you to lift the ball, let's say 10 feet above the net. Some defense, if you're in a lot of trouble, might require you to lift the ball uh, 20, 30 feet in that. Some defense might require you to go over it because you can barely get to it and slice the ball back. All these uh, 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 types of defenses are based on the different degrees of difficulty or trouble you're in. So make sure, I, I think the sliding scale is first go over and hit a topspin forehand 10 feet above the net. If you're really off the court, you're gonna probably go 20, 30 feet over the net. If you can barely get back to it, you scrape the ball back with some underspin to hopefully slow the ball and give yourself time, okay? So what it should look like and what we're gonna focus on when we get to the ball is really getting under the ball and extending up and around, okay? We're not gonna be hitting through the ball that much because we don't want the ball to travel so straight. We want the ball to gain some height over the net. So what this looks like is if I'm running for the ball, I'm going to go over here and lift the ball up. You can see my fall through. I'm going to go ball, lift the ball up. And you can't see it right now, but when I lift the ball up, by the time I hit the spot again, that's when the ball's bouncing. One more thing we want to make sure is when we lift the ball up, we don't want to lift the ball up and leave it short. We want to get the ball to bounce halfway, at least halfway between the baseline and the service line. So it doesn't give your opponent another opportunity to attack you. One added benefit of lifting the ball up, it creates a bounce that bounces much higher than normal. So if your opponent does want to come up and take the ball early, it makes it harder because the ball is going to bounce out of the strike zone sooner. I hope this video was helpful. Make sure if you like this video, like it below, and make sure you subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel, Total Tennis Domination, because I'm releasing videos all the time now, sometimes daily. So you're going to get more and great tips to help your tennis game get to the next level. Go out. This is Kevin Garlington from Total Tennis Domination and Play Tough.